Good morning and welcome to JHS Weekly. I'm Kendi Derry. And I'm Darren Zustiak. Well, the time has come for the seniors and they're falling down with a little bit of sickness. It's called senioritis. JHD's Lino Cepeda shows us how you can help seniors avoid the sometimes contagious disease. Every year, a good amount of seniors get diagnosed with senioritis. Side effects include laziness, being tardy, and being distracted. McGuire Mai is a senior and has been showing all these symptoms. Even like when I wake up in the morning, I go, oh, I can be late to school today, or um, especially like turning in assignments, like I could probably turn this in late even though I shouldn't. When I see like my grades drop or like I get too many tardies, and that's why I know like I need to do something about it. Senior principal Jacob Williams is very familiar with the illness. I think senioritis is a tale as old as time. I think it's a pretty natural thing when you're coming towards the conclusion of any type of long extended uh, no. event or trial. It's pretty common to be burnt out a little bit. Principal Williams tells us how he deals with students that have these issues. If I'm a kid in here, I just I kind of try and help them see uh, that the end isn't that far away. Do things the right way, finish out the right way, um, because if they're that close to the end and they're still in in contention to, to, to graduate like they should, then um, just try and convince them to hold on. Getting senioritis is more common than you think. I feel like most seniors have senioritis just because like it's your last year of high school and a lot of people are ready to be done. My friend Logan, he for sure has senioritis, so. If you are expiring seniors, be sure to get support. Do everything you can not to get, you know let it affect your school life too much. We're close. We're close. Um, it's very common that you kind of get tired of doing the same song and dance, so to say, um, but we're very close and, and, you know, keep pushing, doing the right thing so you can finish out the right way. So if you see a senior, be sure to help them if you can get to the finish of graduation. No. Reporting for JHD, this is Lino Cepeda. Students are invited to the annual Joplin K-12 Art Show. This event will be held right here in the PAC foyer and art gallery. The opening reception is on Tuesday, April 12th, starting at 5.30. The show will be held on display until April 18th and features artwork from every Joplin school. Teachers are invited to bring their classes down to view at any time during those days. Come and support the work of our talent artists. To go to college or to not go to college? That is the question. Indeed it is. High school students have two choices to make. JDG's Natalie Hil Hillemsbach takes a look at what both students have right in front of them. end of senior year comes fast. Seniors are beginning to make their post-high school decisions, and that's whether they want to attend college or go straight into the workforce. John Patterson, culinary arts student, talks about his future with food. My dream is really to own my own food truck, so I just kind of want to move myself into different situations so that way I can learn how to make all kinds of different uh, culturally accurate food. Sean says if he were to go to college, it would cost a lot of time and also money. Be prepared to be dedicating a lot of their time because things with uh, culinary, it is like a six to eight year course in college. So when you do that and you do, if you dedicate all of your time to that, then you're looking at six years of nothing but school. On the other hand, future college student Darren Zustiak talks about the positives of going to college. If you don't go to college, you might have a lower chance of getting the job that you're wanting or getting something similar. Darren says going to film school will help him build contacts while in college. Uh, my major that I want to go into is either film or communications. And film, I want to write, I want to learn how to write the stories. I want to learn how to film the stories. And the film classes have definitely helped me a lot, but I think college would give me like a bigger way and maybe more time to be able to do it than regular school. Whatever path you choose, it's ultimately up to you. Reporting for Jet HD, this is Natalie Himmelsbach. Someone's food maker. Okay, never mind. No. Eight students from Joplin High School Speech and Debate will be heading to Louisville, Kentucky for nationals in June. And here are the lucky finalists. Jenna Compton, Harmony Vodka, Christy Post, Ashley Heron, Kate Tyson, Asa Budhern, Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Budhern, 
and Yavit Shackles. We wish you best of luck. A Joplin student has won $150 in a cash prize by giving a speech about dangers of social media. Sophomore Aiden Koch placed in the Rotary International four-way speech contest. He competed against other area schools and came out on top. Congrats to Aiden. Spring is in the air and the Joplin FFA would like to invite you to the 2022 AG FFA Spring Plant Cell and FFA Alumni Booster Donation Pancake Feed. The greenhouse has been recently updated and their plants aren't looking, are looking better than yeah. ever. <laughs> the kids have been working to get better quality products out to the public. If you have time in your schedule, please stop by on April 30th. If you cannot attend but would still like to support the program, please share it with your friends, your family, have them all come out. As always, you're welcome to come and browse the sale before the plants take off, but they will not be able to leave the greenhouse until April 30th. Well, this is unfortunately our last broadcast of the year. We just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in each week. Um, a lot of these guys put in a lot of work. Um, and we're just grateful for Joplin for giving us this opportunity to do this. So thank you so much and have a great year. And we'll see you guys next year. Some of us will, but bye.